This is like probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done in my life. And if anybody's watching this, never do this. Hey guys, I'm Lauren Spencer Smith and I'm here with Seventeen to play Read Receipts. It's basically truth or dare with my phone. I can choose to reply and answer an embarrassing question about myself or I can choose to ignore and I will have to show you guys something from my phone, which is terrifying or fine depending on what I'm showing. <laughs> I give everyone my phone password. I just throw it around. I'm a shady. <laughs> you can go on my phone whenever you want. There's some chats and I'm like, ah, maybe not. But for the most part, it's, it's pretty age appropriate. <laughs> I'd probably say the weirdest thing about me is that I just like put ketchup on everything, like vast amounts. You could put on a spoon and I would just eat it. Sometimes I put ketchup on my pizza or like dip my pizza in it and people just think that that is so weird. I don't know, I guess, I think, I think reply. I don't know, I feel like maybe the last time I lied, it was probably somebody asking me if I liked somebody. I think I said that I did when I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> to be a nice person and keep peace, but I don't think I actually am very fond of that person at all And I told the person yeah, they're chill. I like them. The vibes are great <laughs> Who is my latest song about hard pass on that? So ignore please if you want to find out or go check it out It's called narcissist and you can listen to the lyrics I'm going to show you guys my latest selfie. Oh, on my phone I have my latest selfie as me and my mom. Um, we had missed our flight to go to Columbus and we had to stay the night in Chicago without our bags. We look happy, but we're just like smiling through the pain. Um, reply. It was not long ago since I cried, so I'm just trying to remember. I think the last time I cried was not last night, but the night before. I cry all the time, like absolute crybaby, mental breakdowns on the daily for absolutely like no apparent reason. It was probably just like me like being overdramatic. Uh, reply and I feel like one and it's like my current boyfriend. I don't think I was in love with any of the other trash that I so unfortunately decided to get with. The feeling I have with my boyfriend now is very different and I think that is love and not whatever I was mixed up in before. I've just been obsessed with my boyfriend since like the moment I even like saw his face. I kept accidentally spewing out to people that like, oh, I love him. And then they were like, Lauren, are you like in love with him? And I was like, yeah. Uh, reply. I don't even think there's a specific place I feel most creative. My brain is just like always coming up with things. Maybe at the gym actually though, when I'm like running or I'm on like a hawk or a walk, a lot of ideas come. Ooh. Um, oh, reply. My biggest fear is spiders or cockroaches. Any type of bug, like literally anything that crawls, they just give me so much anxiety. Um, reply. I literally think my biggest insecurity is just like myself as a whole. <laughs> Probably like my body, actually. I feel like I've always just struggled with like, when I was younger, I like didn't eat and like thought I was like overweight. And then when I look back, I wasn't at all. And I'm just like always constantly like just have body dysmorphia and like can't tell if I like myself or not. My boyfriend gets really, not actually mad at me, but he gets mad because I'm constantly being like saying bad things about myself. And he's like, you're manifesting that your brain's gonna think all these bad things about yourself. So he always makes me like look in the mirror and like, name three things that I like about myself like every single day. I think it works. I think subconsciously when you say nice things about yourself or just like anything in general, like you're speaking that into existence. Oh, ignore. Yeah, biggest mistake I've ever made. Ignore. Okay, the last text in my phone is from my one of my band members and it's a link to a woman and her TikTok says, why men hate women's stories. <laughs> why men hate women's stories. <laughs> yeah, reply. My go-to shower song right now What's Your Problem by Tate McRae. What's your problem? You think that you're God. You came in my life, but when you knew that I was lying. Reply. I think my first celebrity crush was Justin Bieber. Like I totally had like the Never Say Never like vest poster on my wall. I wouldn't say I'm like, you know, drooling over Justin Bieber like that anymore, but as a kid, definitely. Would have married him, probably. I would fangirl over Justin Bieber. I wouldn't fangirl in the way of like, oh my God, I'm in, I'm in love with Justin Bieber, but like just the fact that it's just, I, I would fangirl. I would just have to. Oh, actually, I do know, reply. I think the biggest misconception about me is that because I'm like super outgoing, like super loud, like everybody just assumes that I'm like extremely confident about like everything in my life. And I hate that I have that misconception because I feel like there's a lot of things that I'm like insecure about or like don't like about my life. And everybody thinks that I'm just like 100% put together all the time. <laughs> in general, people don't like talking about their feelings. So to like 
say that I want people who have lots of followers to just constantly feel comfortable to like post their emotions everywhere. Like I feel like a bit of a hypocrite, but I wish that people talked about it more. You were like, wow, okay, my mental health can suck because like other artists' mental health suck. Writing music is like therapy for me. Singing it is similar, but it's not the same as like the writing process because we are constantly writing about real things and real stories. And so I'm like getting to, you know, dissect all that information with whatever writer slash therapist I have in the room. <laughs> I know a lot of phone numbers by heart. I know my mom's phone number. I know my dad's phone number. I obviously know my phone number. And I know my best friend Melissa's phone number. I used to get grounded and my phone would get confiscated and I had to memorize phone numbers in order to call people on the house phone. So I've always had my best friends memorized so I could call her on the house phone and then mom and dad for emergencies, obviously. This is like probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done in my life. And if anybody's watching this, never do this. I do not know what was wrong with me. And when I was like 13, I had a lot of like older friends. We were straight up just like walking on the street at like 1 a.m. And these like teenage guys pulled over. They were like 18, like hockey dudes. And we're like, get in. We all got in. Like, I literally have no idea how. We were putting it on our stories, like we were in their backseat being like, Woo. straight up could have been like human traffic, like so dangerous. And my mom found out because someone saw it on my friend's story and then they showed their mom and their, their mom told my mom. And then next thing you know, my mom was getting really mad at me and my phone was confiscated. <laughs> okay, I made it through, only two dares. Make sure you guys check out my latest single, Narcissist.